We just passed the anniversary of the infamous Bobby V mustache game. Uh, as I'm sure your memory recalls, you were on the mound when all that took place. You throw the pitch out, Piazza comes out, throws. Well, Bobby V gets ejected. He comes back with the mustache on. What do you remember about that? I remember it, you know, just like it was yesterday. You know, uh, I was sitting in the dugout. I was, you know, sitting over there and, uh, you know, thinking about, you know, what what, was, what I was going to do the next inning, the hitters that were coming up. And, and I kind of glanced to my right and I saw him down there. And I was like, what the, what the H are you doing, you know? And he was just sitting there and he was just acting like he was just chilling out, you know, no smile, no nothing, you know, just sitting there. And uh, I just started laughing. Uh, when Patrick was around the clubhouse uh, in 2000, and I, you know, Garrett, my oldest son, who's now uh, 26 years old, um, he was there all the time with J.J. Franco and, and little Patrick. So what does he remember about that time in the clubhouse? Or is it, is it just a blur and part of, uh, part of daddy's work that he used to go to? No, it's funny. He remembers it. And, and if you listen to him in a lot of interviews, you know, he remembers playing with the kids. He remembers all that. But the thing that he remembered most was how, like, the people that he thought were the best players in the game, how hard they worked every day, you know, to, to keep getting better and better, you know. And he's like, well, that guy, you know, he just hit two home runs last night. And, and then next day he's getting T work. He's doing this and he's doing that, taking extra hit. And it really stuck with him, you know, that how hard you have to work to get there, but how much harder you have to work to stay there. He had a choice as a superstar in the NFL. Uh, whether or not to participate in the Black Lives Matter video. He did, and it, he appears to have sparked some change and, and done uh, some difference. Uh, what was your reaction, and how proud are you that he decided to use his platform to, to change the NFL? Well, I kind of talked to him a little bit about it, and I said, uh, you know, I know you're probably getting some heat about this, so, um, you know, what are you going to do? He said, Dad, you know, I'm, I'm going to make a statement. He said, I'm just trying to make sure that, you know, it's the right, you know, right thing. So I said, well, if you need any help, you know, just, you know, ask me about it. But he said, no, he said, no, I'm, I'm good. He said, uh, I'm just, you know, trying to finish it up. And then I saw the video after he had made the statement and, uh, you know, it, it, it made me feel good. You know, um, if, if you looked at Patrick, you, you, you probably wouldn't even know that, if, you know, that he's black or mixed or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, for him to go out and, and, and say, you know, what he means and what he thinks, um, um, you know, it's just, I'm very proud of him.